I'm interested in this subject because I just found out that I am completely menopausal, but why am I so surprised? Well, because I didn't find out the normal way people find out. And I will tell you about my personal experience a little later. It's not as common. <laughs> Most women find out that they're menopausal when officially after a year post last period. So let me say this a little better. One year after your last period, officially, you are menopausal. But that's kind of a lame description, really, uh, because no one really knows when their last period is, which period is going to be their last period. And usually it's something that you find out retroactively. You're like, oh, yeah, the, my last period was, I don't know, like then. Okay, I must be menopausal. But actually, the process begins way earlier. And that in that last year or so of frantic, confusing periods, some too long, some too short, some too heavy, some missing. It starts five to seven years before then, but why don't women know about it? Because science is more interested in giving a 75-year-old a boner studying erectile dysfunction than it is keeping women over 50, menopausal women, healthy and strong and fit and happy. Why would they bother? Your reproductive years are over. What is your value to society? Really? Anyways, obviously I have an issue with this. So I'm trying to do my part in providing more education, more resources. So some of the early symptoms that women tend to miss or they attribute them to other things because in that time frame between 40 and 50-ish, um, that's like peak performance time for women. They have careers, they have families, some of them are going back to school. There's a lot of stress. Some of them are taking care of older parents. So the symptoms that they're getting that actually part of their menopausal transition, the in premenopause, they, they get missed or they get misinterpreted as stress, as just getting older, as just being tired. They don't, they, they get medicated for the wrong reasons. And it's kind of a sad thing because if women know and are mindful of what's happening to them and attribute the symptoms to the fact that they are now starting to change and they're in the premenopausal phase, they can treat themselves differently and get better results and go through the whole process with the least amount of suffering, if any. Like in my case, I went through the process without even noticing practically. So the standard descriptions of what happens in that transitional phase is night sweats, hot flashes, you can't sleep at night, you can't fall asleep, or if you fall asleep, you wake up multiple times, it's hard to stay asleep, um, foggy brain, you start feeling tired, depressed, you think you're depressed because you're stressed, or you think you're depressed because you're getting older and you're seeing changes in your skin, or your hair is falling off, and you think, oh, that's just because I'm getting older, um, you might you know, think, yeah, I'm depressed, or I have short temper, or I'm not interested in sex because I'm going through a midlife crisis. But it's actually your hormones are changing underneath, and they're changing the way things work within you. They're changing your physiology, they're changing your psychology. So yeah, you, maybe your parts don't work as well. So you're not you're not getting orgasms. You think you don't like your husband or whatever. You think something is wrong with you. Um, or if you do get orgasms, it takes a really long time to build up to that. Why? Because your hormones are not balanced. They're not in the right place. You don't know that because you haven't checked. <laughs> and you just think you're tired, you know, stress diminishes the sex desire. So obviously if you're in a stressful life situation, you're going to attribute that to the stress of life and you're not even going to think about your premenopausal 
and you think, ah, you know, that's sometime in the future, seven years, five years, 10 years in the future, and you don't think about it. Sadly, there are a lot of women that are going through menopause kind of early, you know, a lot of them in their 40s. I had a friend of mine that um, went through it at 43 or 44, something like that. She didn't even know what was happening to her. And the doctors didn't realize, didn't even have the conversation with her. Nobody even stopped her to ask her, uh, you know, what's going on. You know, she was having heavy periods. She was having weird things happening to her. And she, she found out later, <laughs> talking to me, telling me that I haven't had a period in a long time. I know I'm not pregnant. I don't know what's going on. But she didn't think about menopause because... She was so young. Most women will go through menopause. The most reliable time frame for when this is going to happen to you is if you ask your mom, your grandmother, if you have older sisters, when did they go through it? That's kind of like your um, guesstimate of when you will likely go through it. So... If you happen to know that and you know your mom, your grandma, whatever, went through it in their early 50s and you're in your mid 40s, it doesn't even cross your mind that you're having premenopausal symptoms. At 43, I had my first night sweat and I woke up in the middle of the night just drenched and I'm like, what's wrong with me? Like, am I sick? Should I call, call in sick for tomorrow? Um, I'm really health conscious. I have not usually sick i haven't been sick in decades hey i even went through covid without ever getting covid <laughs> so you know at 43 that was before covid um it was unusual for me to have this experience and yeah you know, i live in on the central coast of california it's 60 degrees outside so i can't really blame the night sweat on the weather so I did some research and trying to figure out what might be wrong with me. Did they eat some bad food or something? I mean, that was so unusual and so extreme. I mean, I was literally drenched. It's like, this never happened to me. And I stumble upon, you know, I'm doing my research. I stumble upon premenopausal symptoms. And I'm like, me, but I'm only 43. Like, no, I'm too young. I'm healthy. Uh, no way, you know, none of that stuff. But I did call my gynecologist and I went and we had a little chat and they did a few tests and they're like, well, yeah, sure, you could be having premenopausal symptoms. Oh, really? How come you guys never like uh, gave me the heads up at my last annual? You could have told me, hey, you know, you're in your 40s. You should watch out for X, Y and Z. Hell no. Nobody says anything. Right. So anyways, um, other things that can happen to you you will find yourself um, less emotionally resilient. It seems like you can't handle as many things as you used to handle. You will find yourself short-tempered, perhaps. You'll start experiencing the mood swings as you are going through, as you're getting closer and closer to menopause. You will start experiencing more and more mood swings, especially if you're prone to PMS before. Man, it's going to be like on steroids. And um, again, you're going to contribute it to probably to other things. You will think that you're just tired, exhausted, stressed out, too much on your plate, blah, blah, blah. Um, but it could just be your premenopausal symptoms and you know, that's not where you're looking. Uh, on the inside, within you, things are changing too, other than your hormones. But your hormones do coordinate other physiological processes in your body. So you might be gaining weight, changing body composition. So you all of a sudden you're having more fat than muscle. If that's something you're monitoring, you'll start wondering why. Um, not everybody monitors that. Since I'm into fitness, I'm monitor monitoring everything. Um, cholesterol goes up. So cholesterol goes up when estrogen goes down. So here you are, you're in your late 40s, let's say, healthy diet, good exercise routine. You've never had problems with cholesterol. Suddenly your cholesterol is go going up 
but nothing else is changing. Your diet is not changing, your exercise, fitness level, your activity level is not changing, but your cholesterol is going up. So doctors will start going, well, it's hereditary, well, this, well, that. Nobody will say, hey, you know, how old are you? Are you premenopausal, menopausal? Like, where are you in your life? <laughs> in your life biology situation no one will ask you but that's the one of the easiest things it's like estrogen goes down cholesterol goes up cholesterol goes up heart disease heart risk for heart disease and heart events goes up too so how hard is it to ask that question nobody asks that question right um you will you will find yourself uh like i said disinterested in sex uh you might start feeling um more tired you need naps uh low motivation weird aches joint pain things like that suddenly you can't spring right up in the morning and go about your business you start feeling random weird stiffness <laughs> and you just can think i'm getting old but okay uh there are a lot of people there that are getting old a lot of women that are getting old that don't have that because they know what to do and they understand this process of changing hormones through menopause and they know what they're doing with themselves and how to adjust their lives and how to adjust what they do we'll talk about that later um so weird aches and pains things don't heal as fast they just don't because again estrogen contributes to the healing process it's complicated i can't explain to you because i'm not a biologist but that i know enough about that <laughs> as estrogen goes down healing time goes up so whether it's um, wounds on the surface of your skin whether it's an injury things will take a lot longer to heal yes that naturally happens as you grow older anyways for men that will happen too but not for women not as as dramatically changing as for women as they start to lose estrogen through this menopausal transition so um because your body composition is changing it's very difficult to build and maintain muscle mass it's very difficult to maintain your weight i know premenopausal women and, and menopausal women that are struggling to the, and they and they're going far and beyond what the average person might want to do for fitness and to stay in shape and suddenly the fat disappears from where you want it like around your cheeks your boobs and your butt and shows up in places where you didn't want it like your belly and your back and under your arms <laughs> it's like why is it migrating <laughs> very disconcerting and so the first thing women do is they start like you know feelers botox plastic surgeries they're fixing this part they're trying to stabilize this part here to look younger but from the chin down it's all falling apart anyway so um bone density decreases so women are more prone to um breaks and because of the slower healing it sets you back a whole bunch um definitely that's more pronounced post menopause as you get older and we all know how it works out some little old lady breaks a hip and that's the end of it uh, that's all because decreasing bone density and and the signs of that appear early on like i said five to seven years before you're actually fully in menopause but how many people are checking their bone density regularly not very many that i know of but a DEXA scan needs to be done in your 40s to get a baseline early 40s get a baseline and then like every two three years i don't care how expensive it is you can monitor what's going on within you um hopefully you have insurance though it could be pretty expensive sadly in america 
all these things different conversation so as your bone density decreases and you start getting okay again the decreased uh, decreased um, estrogen is increasing is causing increasing inflammation so that's why your joints ache and you start feeling arthritic and you actually do get arthritic or or uh, osteopenia first before it turns into osteoporosis but that's kind of like where it starts it starts during that process of menopausal transition um, you don't have the same endurance um, physically so you can't you find yourself you know hiding out and not wanting to do very many strenuous things uh, you just call it I'm getting old but that's preventable um, these are common common things uh, you'll get changes in your skin you'll start seeing more cellulite I mean even young people get cellulite but as your body composition is changing and you're getting more fat than muscle then the cellulite becomes more obvious and because it's difficult to lose weight, um, well, you start seeing it everywhere. <laughs> unfortunately, unfortunately, um, because of your mood swings, you might ruin a few relationships. Because of your inability to sleep at night, uh, it kind of compounds other problems. Um, definitely doesn't help with the stress in your life so that's what it feels like being premenopausal and it starts feeling like that really really early on a little by little it kind of compounds over time and so there's a lot we can do about it we don't have to um put up with the symptoms we can manage the process very effectively and we can make a huge difference and and like in my case and that's always been my goal is to go through menopause without even noticing and how i did that i will tell you that in the next video and i'll give you resources and point you in the right direction so please subscribe hit the notification button and you'll hear from me in a couple of days with the continuation of this video give me the thumbs up if you learned something from me today if this resonated with you and share if you know someone else who might benefit from it and i'll see you in the next one